and Boeing has reached a tentative agreement with the union representing over 32,000 workers in the U.S. Pacific Northwest, potentially averting a strike that could begin as early as the 13th of September. The proposed four-year deal includes a 25% wage increase, 12 weeks of paid parental leave and improved job security. Union members represented by the International Association of Mechanists and Airspace Workers will vote on Thursday to approve or reject the offer. If accepted, this agreement would secure labor peace for Boeing at a critical time, as the company faces production challenges and a quality control crisis. The proposed contract marks the first full-scale negotiation between Boeing and its largest union in 16 years. The deal aims to address the union's concerns over wages, safety standards and work-life balance. Union members had initially requested a 40% pay raise, but gains were made in other areas. This includes securing a commitment from Boeing to build its next commercial airplane in the Pacific Northwest. The outcome of this agreement is crucial for Boeing, which is trying to ramp up production of its 737 MAX to 38 planes per month by the end of the year. The tentative deal comes at a time of heightened scrutiny for Boeing following a series of quality control issues, including a January incident involving an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX. While union members had voted for a strike mandate in July, Boeing's new CEO, Kelly Ortberg, has worked to reset labor relations. If union members reject the offer, Boeing faces the risk of a strike that could shut down production, affecting its factories and efforts to increase output. With both sides seeking resolution, the union vote on Thursday will be pivotal for the future of Boeing's workforce and manufacturing operations. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.